Hi guys, welcome back. This week I'm making the ultimate pocket pie with my favorite ingredient, fat, but more specifically, Iberico pork fat. You wanna get a large mixing bowl and we've got our strong bread flour on there, some dried yeast, you can use fresh yeast as well, and a touch of sea salt. Next up's the star ingredient, the Iberico pork fat. Add that into your bowl and start mixing by hand or use an electric mixer. And you want to prepare lukewarm water here, not too hot, but not too cold either, the yeast won't activate. And then just pour that in gently, gradually, and mix that with a dough hook. I'm also gonna add in a touch of apple cider vinegar, just to get a little bit of acidity. And next we're gonna prepare the apple compote, which is going to be the filling for this pocket pie. Now I'm using a mixture of apples. I've got some Bramley cooking apples, as well as pink lady apples with different flavors and textures for the compote. Now we're just roughly chopping them up. And I'm just turning the dough hook down a setting to slow it down. We just want the dough to come together and just knead it out for a good five minutes. And place all the chopped apple into a pan, along with some dry cider, soft brown sugar, a touch of vanilla bean paste, and some sea salt. And don't forget the cinnamon sticks. Once that's ready, we'll place that on the side and check our dough. You can see it's all come together really nicely. It's got a lovely soft texture on it. I'm just going to dust the counter with some plain flour or bread flour and just smooth it out into a ball. Leave it in a mixing bowl and somewhere warm to prove and double in size. While that's proving, we're just gonna to return to the apple compote and then bring the mixture to a boil. Now it's been a really long day, so I'm gonna have a glass of Sibiliano Grillo from Sicily. I absolutely love this with this dish, so hope you will too. It has really good citrusy notes, which complements the apple compote really well. Now the liquid has come to a boil, so I'm gonna use a slotted spoon to scoop out the apples and leave the liquid to reduce until it's sticky because we're gonna make a caramel with that. While that's reducing, I'm gonna quickly make a cinnamon dust to coat the pocket pies, which is just icing sugar and some ground cinnamon, but you can use also caster sugar as well and then just blitz it up. Now the liquid has come right down, I'm gonna add a few knobs of butter in and that's going to make an awesome caramel base for our compote. Give it a good stir, add a little bit more vanilla binning paste if you'd like, add the apples back into the caramel, give it a good stir, reduce the temperature down to a little simmer and cover it for a couple of minutes. What you're looking for is the apples are slightly cooked but also still retaining their shape. And then that's the compote done, scoop it out and save it aside to cool. Now the dough is ready, it's doubled in size, we're just going to knock it back. So dust the counter with some more flour and using a rolling pin or a wine bottle, just roll it out till a couple of millimetres thick. And then using a knife or a pasta cutter, just cut it into whatever shapes and pieces you'd like. I aimed for about 10 pieces for this recipe. Make sure you save some of those scraps though for testing the fat and oil later. So next we're gonna use a whole block of lard, melt that into a pan that's deep enough. It sounds like a lot, but we're gonna strain the pieces and you're not going to ingest all of this lard. Now traditionally, the Nocco Fritto is served with mortadella or some parma ham. Here we've got some incredible Iberico pork ham and mortadella. So we're going to make a savoury one as well as a sweet one today. Now test that the lard is ready by placing a small piece of the dough into the oil. And what you're aiming for is the pockets to bubble really nicely and quickly and then get a really nice good golden colour a couple of minutes on each side. Then strain them onto a paper towel to get any excess oil off. Now mind that the oil doesn't get too hot, like you see here, it's getting a little bit too coloured, but it doesn't affect the flavour of the Nocco Fritto. If anything, I'm just going to use these ones for the savoury and the lighter ones for the compote. So take away the paper towels, dust them with the cinnamon dust, 
and break them open and fill them up with the apple compote. And I add a little extra treat in here, some vanilla ice cream to make it a little bit more indulgent. And I don't have a tremendously sweet tooth and I'm not gonna let this amazing ham go to waste, so I'm making a traditional noco fritto for myself. And there you have it. A noco fritto pocket pie and a traditional noco fritto with mortadella and Iberica pork ham. Which would you prefer? Do you have a savory or sweet tooth? Share your comments below, subscribe if you're new and share this video with a friend who might like it. See you again next week. Cheers guys.